Welcome to Frog Detective 2, The Case of the Invisible Wizard. This is made by Grace Bruxner, Extreme Genius, Thomas Boker, Very Nice Boy, and Dan Golding, A Good Egg. I don't really have anything more to say, let's just jump into it. WASD, okay. I was just going into the menu to adjust some settings, but I don't want to do this off camera. I want to show you the menu because it's really cool. Got little magnifying glasses everywhere because, you know, that's what you do detective with, right? Our little frog hand. And as you adjust things, it uh, reveals or reveals or hides this like little squiggly line. That's so cool. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. <laughs> Supervisor. Hi, Detective. Hi, Supervisor. Why did you hang up on me? Huh? We were talking just a moment ago about a new case. The one at Warlock Woods, right? Yeah. I hung up because I got too excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. What can you tell me about this new case? It's a doozy, detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Sorry. Anyway, Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't get many visitors around there. A couple of days ago, a new resident moved in. A shy kind of gal. Doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyway, she settles into the new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organize a welcoming parade. Great idea. Absolutely. But someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. What? I know, right? So rude. Nobody has any leads on this case. They don't know who done it. That's where you come in, detective. That's me. I'm the detective. I am aware. Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You'll need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. Too easy. You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. Do you think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yep. Great. Hop to it. <laughs> I'm not reading the dialogue. I'm just actually genuinely laughing because it took me a second to understand <laughs> the pun there. Oh, I forgot to mention. The new resident of the woods is special. She's invisible. Ah, that was loud. And a wizard. An invisible wizard. Cool. Uh, what's the relevance of her being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade and the decorations and the celebrations. They want her to be uninvisible. De invisible. Uh, uh, visible. Exactly. Anyway, do you have everything you need? Um, uh, I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass. Of course. It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, you'll be ready to solve the mystery. Thanks, supervisor. Good luck, detective. Okay, I love this already. Like, I thought I would, just based on the little bits that I'd seen of it. It looked adorable and hilarious. And I wanted to play the first one, Frog Detective 1. But it, I just never played it for some reason, and then... It hasn't been very long since the first one came out, and I saw Frog Detective 2 has been released. I'm like, oh, there's already a sequel? Alright. Hopefully I'm not missing any 
uh, important things in the story from missing the first game. <laughs> Good times. Oh, I love that outline that appears around things and wiggles around. That's so cool. Seriously, that's really good looking. Becomes more kind of like amorphous as you get far away and then more exact as you get closer. It's really cool. I wonder how they did that. Because you know it's dynamic. I don't think... No, there's no way it's hand-drawn because it adjusts with any perspective that you look at it from. Ah, my trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries without it. Oh, maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. Look through your magnifier with right click. Hmm. Nice. I don't like it. Ah, it's the famous frog detective. Famous? I'm not famous. <laughs> Perhaps not, but I'm sure you will be soon. Wow, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? Um, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door, right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. N nope, that's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I'm in there working every time you do it. I even say, this is my office. And then you say, sure is, little cleaning frog. And then I say, I am a crime solving frog, not a cleaning frog. But usually you're gone already. Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mysteries. Sometimes I forget to be polite. If I was polite all the time, I would never have time to solve my crimes. I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, Lobster Cop. Perhaps. But Detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. I can give you some tips if you'd like. Wow, yes please. Tip number one. Pay attention. You should make sure you're looking at things and paying attention to words. Yes, quite right. Tip number two. Everyone is a suspect. Even you. I will suspect myself much more from now on. Good call. Tip number three. Carry a notebook. Oh, I'm not really big on books. They're, without exception, factually inaccurate. Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you're writing facts. I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook, though. Well, it's your lucky day. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. Wow, really? Yep. There are stickers you can use, too. I bought them with all my crime-solving money. Cool. I'll let you get to it, detective. 
Head into my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay, thanks Lobster Cop. Do I actually get to use the stickers? Because this sounds amazing. There's a feeling of earnestness and, and niceness that I get from the entire game that I really like. Like, even though it feels like a lot of the dialogue that Frog Detective is saying would be sarcastic and absurd, they don't actually say it that way. Like, I don't read it that way. I read it as just completely earnest. Just very happy. What is that in the tree? Hmm, which stickers should I pick? And where should they go? Oh, heck yeah. I love this. Uh, so I think I only have access to the one page. Oh, I can rotate it too. Oh man, I hope the adhesive is strong because I'm reapplying this a lot. <laughs> can you pick multiple of each one? Uh, two of each. I think I like this. Big happy flower. Couple bugs. And then us. Oh, I, I think this is the book that we're actually going to get to take with us through the rest of the game and it's going to look like this. That's such an awesome bit of customization. Good book. Yep. Put your notebook with tab. Now we can go through the pages. My things, magnifier, and the very notebook. Invisible wizard, question mark. That's it. Oh. Lobster cop, right, suspect everybody. Lobster cop motive, maybe lobster cop made up the crime to give me a challenge. That's really nice of him. Also very unlikely. Needs to figure out where to put cleaning supplies, not my office. Notes. Number one best detective. Has lots of fans. Is super cool. So many trophies. I hope I get a trophy one day. Myself. Motive. Hmm. I don't think I did it, but maybe I have a rare curse where I commit crimes in my sleep. Needs. The holiday. <laughs> Just joking. Notes. I have a jumper. I have pants. I have a magnifying glass. I have a good attitude. Banana! How's your book decorating coming along? It's right there on the desk, you know. I know. Just taking my time is all. Well, I haven't got all day. <laughs> just kidding, I do have all day. Take as long as you need. Time to solve another mystery.
lovely pictures inside there. Well, let's just start talking to suspects. Well, first, actually, let's look at what happened here. Looks like there's been a party. Lots of, like, spilled drinks. This lamppost fell over. <laughs> Hello, wizard. <laughs> Part of a parade for the wizard. They just want to know what they look like. Hey! What are you doing, little fella? What's that? I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. We'll hold on to it for now. Got a pie. Is that like a worm on top of the pie? Ooh. Victor. Hi. Hello. Wanna hop in? A little bit. Uh, but I'm on a case. Oh, cool. I'm Victor. Who are you? The detective. Is that your real name? Maybe. Cool. Cool. Are you here to question me and stuff? Because, like, I'm not suspicious. How do you know you're not suspicious? Well, I think I didn't do it. You think? Yeah. Nobody knows anything for certain these days. So why are you here swimming? I'm visiting my friend, Naughty. Oh. She's the only person I know with a hot tub. Plus, I heard there were going to be delicious pies for the parade, so the timing was perfect. Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot. I was thinking of taking a holiday there at some point. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, so, anyway, can I ask you some questions about the case? Yeah, whatever. Questions. About the wizard. Did you know much about the invisible wizard before you came here? Eh, not really. I knew the parade was for her, but beyond that, I don't know a lot. Annoying that they never threw a parade for me coming to visit. I'm super cool. Have you been here before? So many times. The first time, they even threw me a parade. Okay. I take the parade thing back. Just pretend I didn't say that. Sure. Detective. I'm really bored of this conversation. I'm sorry if that's rude, but I have a new policy of being honest with people. Were you dishonest before? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't tell people when they were boring me. I don't think that counts as dishonesty. So what am I supposed to do when people are boring? I'm not sure. But probably don't tell them. It would hurt their feelings. I didn't hurt your feelings, though, did I? Well, I have to admit, I was a bit hurt. I have a very exciting job, and I'm a frog, and I solve mysteries. I don't think I'm boring at all. Sure, but I've seen heaps of frogs before. Plus, I've solved my fair share of crimes. Which crimes? This one. You solved the crime already? Yeah. Ralph did it. How do you know? Um, good point. I haven't decided that bit yet. But it seems likely that he did it. What was his motive? His what? Uh, motive. The reason for destroying the parade. Oh, um, I think because he has an eye patch on. I don't think that's a real motive. That doesn't make any sense. Now who's the rude one? This conversation isn't going anywhere. 
Neither are you, apparently. Not until I solve the mystery. I'm sorry for being rude, detective. I mean it. I just get so grumpy when I'm hungry. Why don't you eat something? And get out of the hot tub? No, I must continue to soak. You could ask someone to get you something to eat. Like who? There's nobody here. I am here. Right, there I go being rude again. If you happen to find food, I would love to have some. In the meantime, I would like to apologize for being so rude. Please, take one money as an apology. One money? <laughs> Questions. Uh, let's give him the lost pie. Make him less grumpy before we ask anything more. Hello, Victor. I have a pie for you. Detective, where did you find this pie? I found it on the ground. Sorry, Detective. You may have to speak up. These hot tub jets are mighty loud. I found this pie on the ground over there. Detective, I do not want to eat a ground pie. I have made a mistake. I'd say, maybe even two. Two mistakes? Yes, one mistake for giving me a dirty pie and another mistake for giving me a pie. That does not belong to you. That's right, detective. Though I'm visiting from out of town, I know that this is one of Mandy's pies. They are delicious. If you just happen to find it on the ground, it cannot be yours to give away, so I cannot accept it. You're right, Victor. I've made two mistakes. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. That's okay, detective. But I'll be watching you. You should return this pie to Mandy. Okay, I'll do that. I just got an achievement called Gross. motive hadn't eaten could have been jealous of the parade. Needs something to eat. Notes such a rude individual. Perhaps only rude because of hunger, but maybe just rude in general. Doesn't live here. So, um, doesn't live here only visiting and I want to visit Pumpkinville. Which one is Mandy? I don't know. Ooh. Nice. Ah, this is Ralph. Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. Oh, right, the one with the eye patch, the one that Victor thinks did it because they have an eye patch. Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Are you sure? You can hear me at this volume? Yes. Weird. I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? Yes. But you're so small. I'm of average frog height. Hmm. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Questioning me, huh? How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Hmm. It's nothing against the wizard, but I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now and our space is big, but I would really like my own home. Oh, I'd been eyeing off that old house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day, but the wizard got there first. I see. 
It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold it against the wizard. Hmm. This house is twice as big as all the other houses. Maybe you could renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one house downstairs. Like an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. <laughs> a private boy. I understand. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm. I'll see if I can track some down for you. Thanks for your help, detective. Maybe if I do a good job, I'll get my own building show. I'm excited to see it. I love this bug in the background that just keeps walking by with its happy little face. More questions. I feel like... I feel like before I question them too deeply, I should do the thing that they want. But I don't know. Maybe not? Eh, let's go with it. About your eye. May I ask why you have an eye patch on? That's Ralph's business. Oh. It'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. That shouldn't make me suspicious. You put it on for fashion? Kind of. Uh, detective, I don't want to get into this too much, but I watched a movie last night about pirates, and I loved it. And there's another three left. Three whole movies. Can you believe it? Sequels? I've never heard of a movie having a sequel before. I know, right? Usually sequels are reserved for video games. Yes, it's extremely normal to have a video game sequel, especially for games with large audiences like the Toad Investigations series. <laughs> Talking about the game itself. Yeah, anyway, I was watching a pirate movie last night. Uh, that's where I was. And for that reason, I've decided to wear an eye patch. Okay. I'll leave it at that. My thanks. Ralph, motive, in true pirate fashion, wanted to cause a ruckus? Needs building supplies. Notes, loves pirates. Eye patch is cosmetic only. A private boy. Wants to renovate. Thinks I am too small. I am not. Ah, oh, that must be Carlos. Oh my stars, it's you. It's me, the famous lobster cop. I really thought you'd be a lobster. Uh, uh no, I'm a frog. Yeah, why is your name lobster cop? I have to tell you something. I'm not lobster cop. Why not? I d don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I'm the detective. A frog detective. I see. Was Lobster Cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency. Which, I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Oh, I didn't know that was how it worked. You should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me, though, to remove all doubt. Okay. Question me all you like. Do you know the wizard personally? 
Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here at least. Not me. Right. But I had a lot to do with the organization of the parade. And I was the one to start the investigation. You mentioned that. It's worth bringing up again. So you were fine with her moving to the town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years and it's really nice someone wants to live here. It needs a lot of fixing up, but it'll look nice soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbor. It sure is. I put up a sign I made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. You can talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sign maker, yet, but I worked really hard on this sign. Really, I struggle to understand why someone would knock it down. It feels so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. I thought everyone here would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. It's a tricky situation for sure. Some people are protective of their communities and think new people are going to change things for the worse. But that's almost never the case. New people make places better because they bring new perspectives, especially in small communities. Hopefully it's just a misunderstanding or a mistake. I like to believe people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. But not me, right? Even you. Especially you. Especially me? Oh, no. Sorry, not sure why I said that. But, but you're not off the hook just yet. Hook. That's it. Detective, could you please find me a hook? I could hang the sign back up with it. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Hmm, about last night. Where were you on the night in question? I was at home knitting a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yeah, I picked all the colors myself and everything. Though I'll admit it's a bit hard to focus on knitting. Why's that? I get so distracted by the wool. It's so fun to play with. I play with it so much that I unravel the whole thing and it goes everywhere. It's a big nuisance. I understand. But I was concentrating on the knitting so much that I didn't notice the destruction of the parade. I'm sorry. Did you notice anything at all? Hmm. Now that I think of it, I saw a big van out near the entrance to Warlock Woods. I didn't drive in or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it at the time, of course. That's all I remember, sorry. No worries. Susan? Maybe she didn't like her sign. Destroy the parade out of embarrassment. Needs something to fix her sign. Insists she's not suspicious. This makes her much more suspicious than she realizes. Upset about the parade being destroyed. Worked really hard on her sign. Saw a van near the entrance last night. I guess this is the entrance, right? Hmm. No van. 